start um, the second uh, module for the class today by trying to look at artificial intelligence and um, project uh, management. Um, I know a lot of us must have been must have been hearing about artificial intelligence um, as uh, professionals, somebody that is um, uh, ready to learn and um, look at ways to make our work, uh, how we can do our work smarter, how we can be more productive. I think it's something we need to uh, show interest and see how we can leverage on this uh, new wave of technology that is taking the that has taken the world by storm and um, is um, developing at an alarming rate the market uh, valuation for this industry is in the excess of um, 4.4 billion dollars as we speak and a lot of companies and leveraging on this concept and they are already getting value addition um, addition to bottom line all right so we will quickly go in and see what we can get from here what is artificial intelligence so um the outline we're going to be looking at artificial intelligence we will look at the origin we look at um, artificial intelligence in the built environment on a larger scope we look at artificial intelligence in project management we look at softwares using artificial intelligence then we go to our level and we look at practical areas of artificial intelligence as a project manager so basically artificial intelligence and the, uh, um, this the development of computer system and machines with human-like intelligence so the idea is machines now softwares now are able to think you understand and they are able to reason the way humans reason tasks that require that typically requires human intelligence can be performed by our systems all right the system can reason like a human being they can solve problems they can learn they can understand our different types of language and they can perceive the environment. All right. Our system aims to mimic human cognitive functions and exhibit um, um, capabilities such as machine learning. All right. They can recognize patterns and make predictions and decisions. You know, most of the times when we when we take decisions, our decisions are they are biased. You understand for you to take a decision that the percentage of correctness will be very high decisions are meant to be objective and one way to make objective decisions is when they are data driven okay so but, but the data driven aspect is not the only way the human aspect has to be there the sense of judgment so what AI is trying to do is to combine that data driven decision with you understand with the human touch that is what the this all is all about and i must tell you i'm amazed with the kind of progress that has been made in this field in the last um, decade is 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 impressive is impressive all right so machine learning techniques include supervised learning or supervised learning and reinforcement learning we talk about that's learning natural language processing they are able to um, things like chat box, here AI is able to trans to, to, to translate languages, sentiment analysis, sentiment has to do with human being, you know, you are sentimental and stuff like that, and text summarization, all right? During our last, um, last the lecture, the last lecture, the first Zoom lecture we had on Zoom, by the time I finished that training, because I activated the Al Companion. What is, look at this. See this? Al Companion on Zoom. Do you know what this thing did? This, this is listening. We are not, we are not to me. 
are you seeing Al Companion? So, what this did for me when I was, um, okay, you have seen it, okay, you have sent it, okay, okay, good. Okay, so let's move on, let's move on. So, what did this for me after we finished that meeting was that it summarized our Zoom meeting for me. It summarized our Zoom meeting. You understand? That is what um, artificial intelligence can do. You know, our system can understand um, and interpret and generate human, human language. All right? So, um, computer vision, it can process and understand visual information. You know, technologies like video recognition, facial recognition, object detection. I remember during COVID-19, in my place of work, we used to do thumbprint because of the contact. We had to change to um, facial recognition uh, machines to mark our attendance. All right. So, of course, robots can navigate environments and interact with objects. And autonomous decisions. So talking about autonomous decisions, talk about autonomous uh, driving cars and stuff like that. Um, even dri um, driving, all driving robots can perform tasks in the physical environment. They are now doing sports. They can run. They can dance. They can do all manner of things. Then expert systems. It's now been um, AI is now being emulated in human specific domains like uh, medicine, diagnosis, financial analysis. Uh, and technical support reinforcement learning had to do with feedback to make um, um, improve decision making you understand um, our system can learn to try and error um, our systems the the house systems that we have the especially the shark buses they, they, there are some people that are now trained you know they, they, are, they, they train models our models they, they, they input a lot of file on the internet you know into them and they are able to to try and error when you ask them questions we will do that uh, now they are able to to learn from the questions you have learned before and they give you something better deep learning is another subset of machine learning it uh, employs artificial neural networks when you talk about artificial neural networks it is a mimic of how our brain works all right um, computer models are designed in, in, in that um, uh, using that uh, concept and this concept is what um, helps us in image and speech and recognition autonomous system talks about autonomous vehicles drones devices um, capable of independent and uh, decision making cognitive computing or system that can reason and understand natural language and learn from experience all right then let's quickly look at the origin of artificial intelligence um, overview and origin. The, the idea came around in around 1950 to 1960. Um, that name was coined around that time. Then, in, during 1980 to 1990, uh, there was uh, reduced funding and progress was um, uh, reduced. Then, in the 1990s, uh, machine learning and data driven approaches uh, um, came into being. And in mid 2010, uh, we have significant advances in um, applications. You know, in this during this period, some of the big tech giant companies they do this in you now. They do it in a lot of their uh, softwares. They use this, but now the thing is open. It's not you know, things like Siri, things like Alexa, things like um, uh, Google Assistant. You talk to to your your, your phone. You, your phone uh, talks back to you. I understand. So. These are concepts, uh, applications of artificial intelligence. And as we are now, um, there is a, a lot, the major shift now is there is a rapid integration of AI into various industries. As a matter of fact, all industries now are adopting uh, artificial intelligence. And that's the reason why it's important for project managers to see how we can leverage on this technology to make our work uh, easier all right so our development reflects um cyclical nature you know period of optimism setbacks and breakthrough but current prominence and there's presently current prominence and of course there is a um, continuous 
advancement. If you have listened to the news in the past one or two weeks, um, what is happening in Apple AI uh, and Microsoft and the board, you can see that there is a lot of um, puzzle there because there is prospect there, all right? And all the um, industries are seriously embracing artificial intelligence. Now we go to the third section, which has to do with artificial intelligence in the built environment. Artificial intelligence in the built environment. Uh, artificial intelligence has a wide range of applications in the built environment, which includes construction, operation, maintenance of physical structures and buildings. Here are some of the key applications of AI in this field. Architectural designs, um, in design and planning, architectural designs, how can assist architects in designing more efficient, no more optimized um, designs and aesthetically pleasing buildings by generating design options, optimizing layout and simulating natural lighting. So some of those act, um, uh, details, some of those features that we can do with our Autodex, we have a lot of Autodex um, material, uh, softwares outside that can simulate um, a lot of things for us and the word there is optimization you have a lot of different options and it's able and uh, the um, uh, virtue of the data available is able to give you different optimized options the majority of things that we do manually before um, systems uh, like this they get it done for us in urban planning also city planners can use it to optimize land use traffic flow infrastructure and data analysis from various sources to make informed decisions. The key here is using data and human reasoning to make informed, uh, better um, decisions. Of course, in construction, um, we can improve project scheduling and resource allocation. It can help to reduce um, delays and cost overruns, safety. Uh, here I can enhance construction safety by monitoring worker behavior and alerting in real time um, to potential safety hazards. Quality control is another aspect. Um, inspect construction materials and structures to defect, detect defects or deviations from design specifications. I once am um, listening to, to, to a program. I mean, it was a seminar in Dubai and um, the guy handling their uh, railway system and um, he, they sit in office, they don't go anywhere and all their tracks are being monitored offline, all right? Um, they, they have access to everything because they have sensors on those tracks and if anything is going on there with the um, presence of uh, sensors on those locations, they are able to monitor every time what is happening even though those locations are very far away. In facility management, space optimization, um, we have softwares now that can, you know, you just, you have your layout, you you, you, you want uh, how many personnel, number of workstations, and before you know it, um, it has optimized that space for you, and you have your design, and within the twinkling of an eye. Asset management is another place where we need to track and maintain assets. You know, HVAC equipment, elevator security system. Predictive analysis can analyze data using sensors and the sources to predict and prevent issues and improving overall building uh, performance. Energy efficiency beams, uh, building management systems. We have a lot of uh, stuffs there. Eating, you can optimize your eating. When, when, you, when, when a load enters a room, the sensor um, senses that load and is able to to give instruction to the AC whether you need to start I mean so that you can cool down the environment to a set temperature lighting system motion sensors a lot of things are out there that uh, we can leverage on in terms of energy efficiency predictive maintenance also AI can predict equipment failures in HVAC system and other building infrastructures Enabling proactive maintenance and optimizing 
downtown smart buildings uh, video surveillance access control um, identifying and responding to suspicious activity voice and gesture control your siri your alexa your google assistant comes into play here um, personalized environment yeah, you can you know you can put some set temperature in your lighting in your a lot of things that can be done when you want to personalize uh, your environment if you are interested in setting up a, a smart house a smart building i have a video i don't know whether i've shared it i will share it with us how to set us a smart building i have it on my on my youtube channel you can access that to learn more about uh, this real estate and property uh, management uh, pricing and investment tenant engagement chat boxes visual assistant building information modeling a lot of auto decks uh, softwares can um, get this one done for you what is, what is BIM basically what it does is when you are designing for instance you're designing architectural structural mechanical electrical and drawings you have a model all right you have a model that all these four professionals can work on you know things like um, um, you want to coordinate coordinated drawing to, 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 to check for clashes and stuff like that in a singular model you have everything your, your piping it doesn't clash with your your your, your columns and, and stuff like that before you start the implementation all these things will have been checked all right um air applications in the built environment offer opportunities to improve efficiency reduce cost and air sustainability and create safer and more comfortable living and working spaces as technology continues to advance we can expect even more innovative applications in this field. Now we go to artificial intelligence and project uh, management. All right, this AI is revolutionizing project management in various practical ways, making project management more efficient and effective. Here are some of the specific examples of how AI is impacting project management. AI algorithms can in project planning and scheduling. We are going to be looking at um, some softwares that um, AI is really, really that you can. We, there is little we can do. We, you can do with uh, artificial intelligence or Microsoft projects, but there are tons of other softwares outside there. Uh, we are going to be looking at ten. Then I will do an example of that one of, of them for us in the GP project planning and scheduling, resource allocation, um, risk management, analyzing historical project data and external factors, data analytics and reporting, project communication and collaboration, quality control, uh, cost estimation and budget management, predictive uh, maintenance, document management, um, it can, AI can uh, automate document indexing organization and retriever this has been one of the problems that um, we usually face in the built industry when it comes to documentation you know at times you know different results uh, documents are issued online and when revisions are i mean for a project and when revisions have been made if care is not taken you go and implement wrong drawing then you are in for trouble there are some mistakes that you make at the, the beginning of a project when it comes to levels and stuff like that, that is going to take a lot for you to control at the end of the day, if not uh, noticed online. So documentation is very key in, in project management to foster problems. Stakeholder engagement also is one thing. People that have influence positive or negative over your projects, you should know how to manage them and engage them so that um, they will not affect your projects negatively. AI can assist in analyzing stakeholder feedback from various sources, such as emails. It can even go to the emails and social media. Can you imagine? And then um, gauge their sentiment and concern. And it can help in tailoring communication and engagement strategies to address stakeholders. Automated alerts and notification. Now, we want to look at um, softwares that um, are really, really leveraging on um, project um, artificial intelligence in project um, management all right we have about 10 of them 
Um, for the sake of this, we will not really go into all the details. But um, this material will be available for us. We have about 10. We have Monday.com. I've taken time to give us the look website, the advantages, the disadvantages, and the pricing. A lot of them, the few of them, they a, a few of them offer free versions, but what they usually do is they will not give you all the features. They will not give you all the features. When you want to really get all the features, um, you need to pay your dollars. You need to part away with a lot of money. So I have about 10 of them. Monday.com, we go to that website. We will see what we can get from that place in the GP. So it's about $8 um, per user per month. All right, we have um, Trello, we have Asana. Asana. Asana is being used by Google. That's what um, Google uses uh, uh, in managing their projects. Um, it's good for large teams and advanced pictures. Trello is also very good. About $9 per month. Per month um, per user. We have Rike Smart Sheet. We have Liquid Planner. Clarin Zen. Pro Workflow. Workfront. Scoro. All right, we will not go into the details, um, but their pros and cons, their website and their pricing are there. All right, um, um, before we move forward, let me see if we can pause here and go to monday.com to really see what they have to offer us. So I'm going to stop this share. Okay, so I'm going to stop this here. Let's see if we can go to monday.com. So this is monday.com, just um, um, I, I, I've registered, they have asked me some questions, alright, um, remind me the time. So this is my, this is the way I asked you some questions, let me just fill some stuff here, my first board. So the columns that you want, these are your columns that you want. Owner, status, due date, um, a timeline. Of course, I want my timeline. I'm following my columns now. Um, if you want budget, you can put budget there. And uh, last updated. All right, I click next. Um, select one of the items you like to manage, tax or project. Let's say tax at this stage. Um, Kanban, do you want Kanban? No, I don't want Kanban, I want Gantt. All right. I also want, um, uh, transform the way you see. Um, okay, this is your Gantt. This is your table. Um, let me see what we have on the table. Um, my calendar. Let's click. So, basically what you do here is, you now add, um, oh, just a minute. You had your you had your tax. Let's assume we want to do initiation in this initiation um, tax two is planning planning tax three is um, implementation Okay, so let's just get started. Um, so, um, so this is my timeline. I can add my tax. 
monitoring monitoring and control all right i can add another one close project all right basic ones all right um so here yeah, you can add it status all right working on it done working on it stock not started you can even add your own the dates are there the dates are there your budget is there your timeline is there you can click your timeline the way then last of the just just now just now all right so basically this is um um uh, monday work management for us now the reason why i'm coming here just to show this exam example for us for monday.com is automate i click automate all right so let's see what we have under automate um just a minute so you can see basic automations hmm? when an item is created assign a person to it you can use template when status changes to something notify someone you can send email to this this is part of the automation when date arrives when a particular project is um, completed you can notify someone this is where the automation is all right and when status changes to something move item to group when status changes to something and and only status is something move so this is part of the automation so this software is basically good for automations when it comes to notifications also you can notify by email um by zoom by anything um when date arrives and only leave status is coming notify someone you can see so there's a lot of uh, automation i just like this for automation basically you can do a lot of automations you can when an activity you can sync to other projects you can do a lot of things under uh, this if you are um, if this suits what you are doing as a project manager is um, um, a software that uh, leverages so much when it comes to software project management software that are, that are using here a lot of things are there that we cannot go in here you can um, you can do that you can do a lot of integration so you can see integration automation a lot of things that can be done there so this is monday.com we have a ton a ton of other um microsoft project softwares that i mean microsoft i mean um, project management softwares that like that that you can use um at for the free versions at um, ship rates but if you need to have access to all the features that they have um, you need to pay you can go to the website i need to stop this to get um, more information about um, monday.com you can put customize project you can you can customize project boards you can do automation yes extensive integration with a lot of um, other softwares and your daily activities your calendar and stuff like that uh, all right so um like i said we have um a good number of these softwares um if it suits your purpose you can um leverage on them so we are going to the real matter for the day how many of us if you have had or if you have used um chat boxes before chat gbt i want to know how many people have used chat gbt just say hi in the chat menu if you have if you have chat gbt either as an app on your phone or um or check this on the web page just say hi just say hi if you have used chat gbt before just say hi
Okay, Mr. Jerry. Any other person that has used sharp GBT before? Okay, we have Mr. Julius, two people. Okay, have you used chat GBT before? Okay, engineer. Okay, we have three people now. Okay, so we want to see how we can use some of these tools to really make our life um, very easy. So when it comes to the issue of chat GBT, um, there's what we call prompt engineering. All right, what is this? What does this prompt? What does it do? It um. There is a way you you ask your question so that you will be able to to get the right answers. What is the difference between these chat these uh, chat boxes and just surfing your net? You know, surfing internet and asking questions. This is where the difference is. When you go to Google and you want to learn about um, project management and you say what is project management you know what Google is going to give you Google will give you tons of information about project management and the problem is what there is what we call information overload you don't even know the one to choose because you have thousands of information but what these boxes, what these chat boxes do, is they give you a tailored answer. And that's where the difference is. So if you know how to ask the right questions, in fact, you can now, when you're asking your questions, you can now add data that are related to a project. To ask that questions, and there's a way you ask the questions. We're going to be asking questions from um, these uh, chat boxes in a couple, of, I mean, a few minutes from now. You asked well tailored questions; they give you well tailored answers. Now, when it comes to uh, using artificial intelligence and these chat boxes, um, there are about three or four basic. Um, um, solutions that that are very very relevant and comes to play we have chat gbt from open AI. we have um uh, bat from gogu we have uh, we have from gogu and we have bing from microsoft we have bing we have bing from microsoft for open hey high chat gbt the um free version is the 3.5 gbt 3.5 but yesterday i just discovered there's a way you can use chat gbt 4.0 without subscription the open hey high 4.0 you need to subscribe to get access to the more advanced uh, model the 3.5 is free but from Bing, through, going through Bing, I discovered yesterday that you can even use chat GBT 4.0. So, these chat boxes, they perform um, a lot of routine activities in several ways. Answering common questions, chat boxes can provide quick responses to frequently asked questions such as project chat, uh, status updates, deadlines, resource availability, Reducing the burden on the project manager to address repetitive queries. Scheduling and uh, reminders. Chat boxes can schedule meetings, set reminders for important project milestones, and send notifications to team members, ensuring that everyone is on track. Document retrieval. Project managers can use chat boxes to search for and retrieve specific project documents or information from databases, saving them time on manual searches. So, tax assignment and update, time tracking, resource allocation, risk management, reporting and data analysis, uh, feedback, 
a gathering. Uh, chat boxes can collect feedback from team members or stakeholders, quality control, conflicts. Uh, it can offer guidance on common project related uh, conflicts. Uh, resource request handling. Project managers can use chat boxes to streamline the process of resource requests, approvals, and allocation. Onboarding and training. They can do onboarding. What is onboarding? You know, when you, you when you get a new staff, there's a process you go through to tell them about if it's for instance a new company, it's a new project, you onboard them, you give them the necessary information that will make me make them to be up to the level um, in performing their responsibilities. Then benchmarking. Chat bosses can compare project metrics against benchmarks and industry standards, allowing project managers to assess performance assess performance uh, more easily. Um, these chat boxes can significantly reduce the administrative workload of project managers and enable them to focus on more strategic and value-added activities. They also provide consistent and prompt support to team members, enhancing overall project efficiency and communication. Thank you. So that is um, the, we want to go to the practical aspects now. Um, we want to, all this grammar that I've been going about uh, chat boxes, we want to really experiment it. So um, you can, if you want to try and you want to join us, you can go to your web browser and um, you can click um, open hey hi chat gbt um let's see um just a minute um, so this is my chat gbt um page so if you can try it on your system um let's see how we can bring this down um, so anybody that wants to try this together with me to really experiment um, what we are trying about just go to a web browser um chat you can type chat gbt chat gbt all right you will see this icon you will click this chat gbt chat gbt then it will bring you here a register you need to register so basically it's just an interactive is an interactive um, query I mean, it's an interactive uh, platform where you have, we ask well-tailored questions. You can put your parameters there and it gives you answers. Okay, this uh, technology is not yet there. Um, it has not gotten to where it's, it's supposed to be. So it is also left for you to, um, to check what uh, information that is giving you. At times when the information is not refined, you can ask more questions. And then um, um, when you ask more questions, it will, it will rephrase itself and it will help you to get... Um, um, okay, let's, let's try and see and ask questions. If you remember during our first lecture, I mentioned that when you want to do a project, and you do not know anything about it. How you can you can use uh, um, these chat boxes to get a detailed tax outline of even project that you have not done before. All right. So let's start. We can say, um, for instance, I want to develop a project shutter for a project, and I don't know what is a project shutter or what is a project brief. What does it entail? So I can say right. Or I can say, give me a detailed, detailed project shutter. 
mm, for a proposed cold room project for a duration of 12 I mean 12 months um, I lighting so whatever you want you need to the, 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 the more information you give the prompt the more uh, the less assumption it makes in giving you your answer all right so I'm going to tailor this prompt this question asking to the project that I want to do so that it will give me information that are relevant all right give me a detailed project shatter for a proposed code room project um, for a duration of 12 months a lighting project um, duration uh, um, project scope project exclusions with a budget of um, let's say one million uh, one let's say um, for my project I'm doing now many billion dollars let's say ten million million dollars all right so let's see what happens So you can see if I have not done project, um, if I have not done, if I have not done a, a project charter before, I have not done that document before. All right. So this has given me a a format. It has made my work very easy. It has given me a format that I can use to develop this um, this. Um, this uh, project charter all right you can see it was only telling me that i need to look at the project duration okay project objective i need to state them the project scope can even give me the project scope you understand project and, and stuff like that project exclusions project deliverable the budget it didn't um, so there's a way i can i can change the prompts and this this budget it will help me insert this amount there it means something is wrong with the way that um i have um i have asked that question is not able to he, the, the the prompt is able to even give me boy a breakdown budget of, of, on this the weeks the stakeholder management the approval the change control and stuff like that so for instance if i want to do a bungalow project eh, give me a detailed um tax for a bungalow project with a duration of four months including dependencies depend Depend dependencies just a minute. Okay, so look at what, what I wrote here. I said, give me a detailed list of activities for a bungalow construction on a 150 square meter land for a duration of one month. So he created this for me. Eh? Site preparation, foundation, um, structural framing, roof, everything. You understand? You understand? So 
Um, and I said 30 days, I need this thing for 30 days, and it's able to give me everything. So, depending on, I'm just giving you the, I'm just showing examples of of questions that I've asked ChatGBT and how it has answered. Hmm? Let's see. I said, in the context of a civil project, the specific tender, okay. I said, what are the relevant tender documents to be submitted for a proje civil project? Okay. It gives me tender notice, instruction to tender, standard form, bill of quantities, technical specification, drawings, contract, cons you know, a lot of information that you need. I said, give me the procedure and rules that bidders must follow during the tender process for a code room. It's enlightening everything. And the touch is there. You can't get this from Google search. It's tailored. The answer is tailored to my my question. All right. So and last week we, we looked at um we looked at um um e, 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 EVM that is and value parameter. So I came here, um I said, look at this. Um okay, let me let me see, let me see. Um I'm coming on. Ask the question two times. I'm coming. There is a so um okay, yeah, very good. So now let's see this question that I asked Chat GBT. I say generate the and value. You can even do calculations for you. I say generate the and value parameter for a project plan for 100 days with a project of budget of 10 million dollars, in which after 50 after 50 days, six million dollars has been spent with 40 percent completion, with explanation about the result. And shall GPT give me these calculations with explanation? What is planned value? Is the authorized budget assigned to the scheduled work? In this case, since the project is planned for 100 days and it's 50 days into the project, the planned value is the proportional budget for the work scheduled up to 50 days. It gave me PV straight planned value. You understand? You know, it gave me and value with this 40 percent. All right. So then he gave me actual costs. He gave me cost performance in their schedule performance. What is cost performance? CPM measures the cost efficiency of work accomplished. He gave me the calculation. He explained and he gave me calculation. But there was a problem here. There was a calculation that he omitted. All right, so it, it, there's a calculation it didn't calculate. Hmm? VAC measures the projected cost of our own. Okay, so now EAC, he was unable to give me EAC and he made an assumption. This is wrong. What I now did was I now look at what I did, I now gave Chad GBT the formula. Say, so use formula this. And recalculate the above. And he recalculated it. He recalculated everything. This TCPI that he didn't calculate before, he calculated it. This one, he calculated it. The new estimate of completion is this. And it explained to me what is happening in my project. The updated variance at completion is approximately this, indicating a projected cost of around. The new to complete performing deck is approximately this, suggesting that future work needs to be more cost efficient to meet the objected project. What are you doing in your day day to day life that you want to that you spend so much hour on? You can leverage on this to get your work done faster. I've listened to a lot of webinars. And a guy was saying, he's a contractor, 
and he's saying that he used to get a lot of tenders. He used to get a lot of contract documents. He said all he just does, usually before he sends it to lawyers to help him check, all he just needs, all he does now is he will put all those documents in chat in uh, all these chat boxes and he will tell, give me the most important points that I need to note. And it's going to summarize tons of documents for him. He said he's saving him so much. In terms of the headache, paying lawyer to do that. So, what he, I don't know the application you want to use this uh, this tool for is very vast. Um, if you look at um, the video I made for the awareness about um, this program, I use these things to do it, and I, I did that video within ten minutes. What did I do? I came to Chat GBT. I asked Chap GBT some questions about training outline. Papa, of course, I know what I wanted to do before. He gave me those um, those texts. I edited it. I took the text I got from Chap GBT. I went to another AI application that converts a, a text to video, and within five minutes, I got that video. If I meant to do it. I can spend up to three, four hours in doing that video. I got it done within five minutes. Now, Chat GBT, this is the V version is um, is um, free. The more advanced version that is even more advanced than this, that um, our smartest and most capable model includes DAL. This one can do picture, you can browse, you can, mm -hmm. and a lot of other things that is more capable than this free version. You need to upgrade. It's about twenty dollars per month. I have not done that. So a lot of um, things that you can do. I don't know what you are doing in your daily today life. You can just sit down. You can be playing with this thing. What am I doing daily? And you don't need to code. You know, um, artificial intelligence. That is even a lot. The advanced stage, but the simple ones. This can get it done for us. So at our leisure time, let's sit down. Let's. Um, look at um, whatever we can do with these tools that are available for us like i said we have the google version also and um, let me see we have the um just a minute we have the google version we have the microsoft version the microsoft version is is bing bing from um, uh, microsoft when you want to chat using bing you can go to ubing.com you will come to chat here when you come to chat this thing is um but this is a little bit slower i prefer to use chat gbt you understand um you can ask questions here also from bing then google has its own also google i think it's google bad let's check google google bad but um, Gogu gets bad. You understand? This, it, it, they, are still, they, are, they are still developing um, bad. It has not gotten advanced um, like um, we have for for chat GBT. You understand? It has not um, gotten um, so um i've asked a lot of questions from bad and bad is even able to give me a table bad is able to give me do you know what i got from bad you can see can you give me a a work a program of work for a bungalow project with a duration of 150 days with dependencies and resources in a table arranged in cells and column see what bad gave me you can see can see you know i told him that i want 50 days you can see and the resources the even the resources that you need for these activities hmm? you can see he gave you what he gave me and it's even explaining to me the architectural drawing must be approved before the building permits can be obtained the site must be prepared before the foundation can be. so so there and it's good the resources that i need Everything is giving me. He's even saying, Can you 
had a, I asked him, can you add a bash out to the table above in the column? He, he couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I asked him uh, another mm -hmm. questions. What are the practical applications mm -hmm. of application, uh, artificial intelligence in project management? Of course, he gave me mm -hmm. everything that I need with a lot of human touch, I mean, with, with explanations, you understand? Mm -hmm. So what are the three project artifacts according to the Project Management Institute? Everything listed it for me. Explaining how to do them. Project charter, project this one, project schedule, project budget. Everything is going to give me. But there is what we call, if you ask the right questions, you understand? Can you create a project management plan for a proposed this? $1 million, this one, timeline, scope, this one. You don't understand? He gave me everything. With the other I need to do, the risk, risk, quality measures, stakeholder plan, everything you can see on the table. If you want to sit down and do these things, you're going to, you can see, even though it might not become, this, at least when you, when you have this, is something for you to start work on. You understand? Project Chatham, I tried a lot of questions and I'm impressed with uh, what I'm able to get. You can't get this when you browse on the net. It's not going to be um, well tailored like this. So I think I've said enough. Um, it's left for us to see if we can lay our hands on some of these things and um, to see what we can get from there. That will be all for my hand from this uh, section. Any question? Other forms of uh, life work. You can use it in <laughs> all industries. What you just do after this training is, what do you do every day in your feed? What okay. do you do every day in your feed? Sit down. You understand? Just sit down. What are the things that I do? And you can say, what are the things that I do that takes my time? You can even what whatever what you can, you can even you can ask you can ask questions just you can ask questions that how can I improve? For instance, you know, as a can you give me out of the box? Can you give me out of the box uh, ideas? Or how I can remove I and mean, improve my my efficiency as a data analyst. Out of the box, you know, something that is not common. Out of the box ideas, how I can improve my processes as a cost uh, control personnel. How I can improve, you know, so many questions. Let me share, let me share, let me share a page with us. Um, just a minute. Okay, let me share just a minute. Let me share the type of questions that you ask. Um, um, I hope I can get this. Okay, uh, this one is for project managers. But look, but I just want you to follow the line of the way questions have been asked. Okay, just follow this line. Eh? Um, the way you ask questions, that's what we call prompting. You can see this one says, provide a detailed outline for creating a, a comprehensive project plan, including key milestones, tasks, and milestones. You know, see, provide a detailed outline, and you need to talk about what you need. Generate a risk assessment for a software development project and suggest mitigation strategies for the risk identified. Very succinct and straight question. Provide tips for effective communication and collaboration with a remote project team. You can see the way questions are asked. Suggest a methodology for tax management in a project. Consider factors like urgency, importance, and resource dependencies. Hmm? Compose a template for a weekly project status report. Outline accomplishments if you want to redesign your, your report. Hmm? Outline accomplishments, challenges, 
an upcoming milestone. You can see, recommend best practices for allocating resources in a project to ensure optimal productivity and efficiency. Hmm? Des describe a step-by-step -step approach for managing changes in a project without disrupting the overall timeline and objective. Devise a strategy for effective communication with project stakeholders while considering their very level of... You can see, explore the core Explore the core principles of agile project management and how to implement them. So, on your on your on your on your field, you understand this one is saying provide a checklist for conducting a post-project evaluation, including metrics for to assess project sources and areas. So just you know, just look at your field. What do I do? How can I do better? Tailor um your questions in this line and you will see the tons of um, information you will have at your disposal okay do you use ai to generate kahoot it quizzes no I, 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 of course i can i can i can generate quizzes you can even watch chat to give you chat box i mean yeah, yeah, yeah you can do that you know so just just think of a lot of possibilities you understand a lot of um a lot of possibilities that you can do i don't i'm just exploring this is a vast is a vast platform for you to explore just think out of the box and explore the information you will get things that can improve your processes and stuff like that so basically i think we need to call uh, call off this uh, section we go to 